if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration and juice. It is July the 16th, 2022, and today the topic is expectations and disappointments. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope that you all had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Uh, to give you all a quick update on what my day looked like yesterday, it was Christmas in July. <laughs> Christmas in July. So shout out to the um, camp over in Cobb County that booked my business, Miracle Place, to come on in and, um, you know, add to their summer experience. And yes, we worked on a Christmas in July themed mystery. Um, and they went above and beyond when it came to the different characters that were um, acting in the show alongside yours truly. Um, They they really got into dressing up into their characters, and I think everything went well for the most part. The client seemed pleased, and again, that's all you can ask for at the end of the day, you know. Um, It was interesting because actually before I went live, I was thinking about, um, you know, my topic today as well as... uh, my event yesterday, right? So just to be honest and open and transparent, um, everything didn't necessarily go the way we planned, right? Like, you know, you're dealing with kids and we were dealing with like, um, splitting them up between different areas and things like that. And because of that, like when you're transitioning them and, and switching them between different groups and whatnot, I don't know if the transition was going smoothly. Like at one point, I think what happened was that two groups ended up working together. And it just was this whole thing where you're like, why is this person doesn't have any uh, kids? And, you know, because when we're switching and rotating, everybody should have a group. And so, you know, me as the facilitator of the event, you know, I want to make sure that the experience is going smoothly and whatnot. And so I'm like trying to make sure that, you know, Things was going uh, according to plan. And I noticed that my client, um, there was a couple of moments where she came to me and she just was like, this is great. You know, the kids are having fun. You know, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. And, and you know, and I, and I was like, yeah, I see that, you know, trying to make sure that they get, get to their, you know, each character, X, Y, and Z. She's like, oh, don't worry about it type of vibe. And I just was like, that's interesting. You know, well, I didn't think about it much then, but like I said, Thinking on this topic that I'm talking about today, um, and right before I went live, I ended up thinking about that. And I just was like, I guess we should have that response when it comes to, like, things that we could be, you know, disappointed and the expectations we have when people don't meet those expectations, if I, that makes any sense. Um, if I share a little bit more about yesterday, I, you know, I had a few services done, um, and... I found myself a little bit disappointed, you know, um, that things didn't necessarily, again, pan out the way I had thought or planned or whatever the case is. Um, and, you know, you again, you can find yourself feeling frustrated. You can find yourself feeling like, man, you know, I was, I was thinking a little bit differently about how this was going to go, you know, um, and everything like that. But, I don't know. I guess I'm just reminded to have that heart like Christ, to have that heart like my client uh, that gave me grace and whatnot. And um, without me even sharing any verses, I mean, I would say, I guess that's the juice this morning. That is the juice. But hey, we we can go deeper and I'll share it with you all what I came across this morning. So when I looked up the definition of disappointment, it says sadness or displeasure caused by a non fulfillment of one's hopes or expectations. 
So I was like, yes, yes, I, I can agree. That's that's how I felt at some moments. Who knows? Like, you know, again, maybe I was like not one of my clients to feel that, you know, and things like that, right? Um, when I looked up the definition of expectation, it says a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. So again, I mean, how many times have we had expectations about anything in life? I mean, I'm sure we have expectations every day about, you know, what our life is going to look like, what um, what we want, and, and all these different things. I mean, you know, um, it, it could be as simple as just, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you have the expectation that they're going to give you exactly what you ordered, you know, or it can be as big as like, you know, you had an expectation that, you know, this or that was going to pan through with work or um, whatever the case is, you know what I mean? So I think we all have felt these things before, you know, we've had expectations and, and, you know, we may have been disappointed by the expectations. So let's see what the word has to say about that. So this first verse I came across, I don't know if it necessarily goes exactly with this topic, but it stood out to me this morning. So I decided to go ahead and write it down. It's Proverbs 10 and 28. It says, the hope of the righteous brings joy, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. Um, now, I mean, I guess we can all go deeper about that. Again, I'm not sure if it, it exactly correlates, but I mean, you know, it is something to think about when it comes to expectations and um, and I guess who you are, right? Who who you are the, as the person that is with the expectation. Are you righteous or are you wicked? You know, and if so, then you'll see what, what your expectations will get you, you know? <laughs> Um, Psalm 62 and five, it says for God alone. Oh my God, wait, excuse me. Oh, my soul wait in silence for my hope is from him. Um, again, I guess this verse right here, um, was one of the ways I started to shift my mind, like look, renew my mind to, uh, you know, to God and his will and, and everything like that. Again, we can just get so in our feelings with, with our personal thoughts and our personal feelings about whatever it is, like whatever expectation or whatever disappointment we may be going through. But again, I guess if you keep your mind stayed on the Lord, right, um, you will find your, you know, mind renewed. You'll find, you know, hope and peace and, you know, and maybe you'll have the ability to give people grace and mercy as, as God has given us, you know. Um, I came across Acts 3 and 5, and it says, And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Um, so I decided to go deeper to see what else was going on in this passage, right? And so I ended up uh, writing down or re reading Acts 3, 1 through 10, and that is the go deeper section for today. And basically, that's the account where... Um, who was it? Paul? Oh, goodness, their names went away from my mind. But uh, two of the disciples, I guess you would say, um, were going into this, I would say it's like a church. I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, y'all. But anyway, they were going into a place and um, the man was asking for money. I'm assuming that's what alms are. Again, we can y'all can go deeper and make sure and confirm what the word A-L a L M S is, uh, I didn't define it, but I've always assumed that was money that he was asking them for money. Um, and, um, the disciples say, you know, silver and gold had I none, but this is what I have to give and, you know, healed the man, uh, through, you know, Jesus and everything like that. Um, and through faith and whatnot. And so, um, now, and, and then that verse was in the middle of that account. Uh, where it says, and he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Now, he probably was expecting to receive some coins, you know, some alms, what he was asking for. Um, and maybe he was disappointed for a split moment, right? When they didn't, uh, you know, put their hands in their pockets to give him something, right? Um, something tangible in that aspect. But when you go deeper and read the full account, you notice that they gave him what he needed, right? He might not have gotten what he wanted, but he had what he needed at the end of the day. Um, and above and beyond, right? Um, you know, something that he probably desired his whole life um, and everything like that. So, I mean, you know, you guys can go and read that account for yourselves and, 
you know, see what the Lord shares with you as you read it. But um, I don't know. I, I felt like that was a good reminder, uh, again, of uh, look what you want versus what you need, you know. Um, there's one more verse that I felt led to share today, and it's Luke 23 and 34. It says, and Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. Again, when you put your mind on the Lord, right, and you uh, remind yourself of the grace and mercy that he has given us. And, and yeah, you, you, we can get, you know, disappointed and we can have our expectations. But, you know, how much more does God have expectations of us, right? How much more have we d- disappointed him? Um, and in those moments of, you know, disappointment, right, we can see that Jesus nailed on the cross for all of us, even those people that was, you know, uh, gambling over his, his robes, right? Um, he asked the Lord to forgive them, you know, and, and I mean, you know, again, that should all, you know, humble us today. Uh, that is the juice for today. You know, just let's keep these things in our hearts and minds, um, in regards to expectations and disappointments. All right. The Bible verse of today is first Chronicles 16 and 11. It says, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all on Monday at the Lord's will. And I just want to say before I let you all go, thank you all for those that tuned in to last night's episode of God, Sex, and Love, the talk show. Uh, my chat with the Rainwater Sisters. Um, if you all missed that, then you guys should be able to check it out on our website, GodSexAndLove.com. It should be the feature video over the next week. And yes, that's all That's all I wanted to say about that. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And yes, I look forward to talking to y'all on Monday at the Lord's Will. Bye-bye. Before I let you go, I have to let you know that I am now a brand ambassador for BoldFaithCosmetics.com, where faith and beauty intersect. Friends, they have the awesome purpose of wanting to just bring inspiration through makeup. I think that is amazing. And I hope that you all check out their awesome lip colors and so much more. So visit boldfaithcosmetics.com and use the coupon code MIRACLE for 15% off. That's M-I-R-A-C-L-E for 15% off.